Hello everybody, welcome to Sensible Fitness and in today's video we're going to look at terms calories and net calories and caloric deficit. So to start with, what are calories? Calories are nothing more than a basic unit of energy. Basically, human beings are warm-blooded creatures. We need energy to survive, right? We need energy to keep our temperature at a certain level. We need energy to do the activities that we do in, in our daily lives. And we basically need energy to live. That energy is called calories. Now, we actually use a lot of calories in a day. We actually use millions of calories in a day, approximately 1.5 to 2 million calories a day. So instead of using the term calories, we actually use the term kilocalories. Each kilocalorie is equal to 1000 calories. Now, since uh, we don't normally use the word calories a lot because it is actually very, very small, we actually use the word calories and kilocalories in a very uh, interchangeable way. So from this point forward, instead of saying uh, kilocalories, I'll just be saying uh, calories. So uh, calories are a unit of energy. It's basically uh, a, a way to represent the energy that human, human beings need to live. And where do we get these calories? So everything that we eat, no matter whether it's a full meal or a small snack, gives us energy. We get energy from that food. And we burn energy when we um, do any activities. Just by living, we're, we're actually burning uh, energy. And we burn energy when we do any activity like uh, running, jogging, even even when you blink your eyes, you actually burn energy. Now, in our daily life, an, an average human can uh, burn anywhere between 1,800 to 2,200 calories in a day, depending on um, how much activities uh, you actually do, how active you are, how, how much you move around, stuff like that. Moving on to our next topic, net calories. Now, we already discussed how we get calories from foods. However, we can't actually use food as energy. Food cannot actually be used in its current state. So what needs to happen is that the body needs to break it down and needs to convert it into a usable form of energy. Now this, this conversion process in and of itself takes some energy from your body. Now uh, net calories is basically the amount of energy that, a, that your particular macronutrient gives minus the energy it takes to convert the uh, macronutrients from its raw form to a usable form. So let's break this down because the uh, actual amount of calories it takes to convert a particular uh, macronutrient actually is different for each and every single uh, macronutrient. So what do we mean when we say macronutrients? Well, macronutrients are basically your four big nutrients, which, which are called macronutrients because we need to have a lot of them. So your four macronutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and water. Now, we're not going to talk about water here because water is zero calories. You don't get any calories from water, so we don't need it in this, in this uh, discussion. But we will be talking about the, the other three. Now, the raw calories from each and every single one of these is uh, as follows. For your protein, for per gram of protein, you get four calories. Uh, per gram of uh, carbohydrates, you get about four calories of energy and per gram of fat, you get nine calories of energy. Now, converting protein from its raw form to a usable form takes about 30% of its energy. So about 1.2 calories. So, so when you do the math, the net calories from protein or from per gram of protein is about 2.8 calories. Now for carbohydrates, that number would be anywhere between eight to 10%. So again, that's about 0.4 calories per gram of uh, carbohydrates. Now for fats, it's actually a lot less. For fats, it's about 3%. Now that's 3% of nine calories. So that's about 0 0.27 calories. So the net caloric value of every gram of fat is about 8.73 calories. Furthermore, um, as you can see from this graph, the net caloric value of protein is actually the lowest. And it's actually the, the lowest by quite a margin because when you eat a gram of protein, approximately, you only get 2.8 calories as opposed to the 3.6 calories per gram that you get if you were to eat carbohydrates or the 8.73 calories that you get if you eat a gram of fat. Now, this is actually why people say have more protein when you're um, just 
getting into your fitness journey or when you're just starting to lose fat, people will tell you have more protein, have more protein. Now while most people just say it because that's what they hear other coaches say it, this is actually the logic behind that. It's that the net caloric value of protein is the lowest amongst all the uh, uh, macronutrients, which makes it a lot easier for you to be in a caloric deficit, which obviously is what you need if you're going to lose fat. Now, a word of caution here that these uh, caloric values will obviously, and indeed the um, net caloric value will obviously be dependent on the type of food you're eating. For example, uh, let's take carbs. If you're eating complex carbohydrates with a lot of fiber in it, with a lot of water in it, then the uh, amount of energy it takes to convert uh, that carbohydrates from its raw state to its usable state will obviously be more. But if you're having it in its broken down form, let's say for example, you're having glucose powder. Now that uh, gets digested very quickly and enters your bloodstream very quickly because it's, because it's basically in its usable form already. So for glucose powder, the amount of energy it takes to convert it from its raw form to its usable form is actually very less. This data given here should be taken as a general guideline and it will change based on what food you're eating and, and in what form you're eating it. And now on to our third term, caloric deficit or surplus. How do we get to a state where we are in a caloric deficit or how do we get to a state in a caloric surplus? If the amount of calories that are going in your body are less than the amount of calories you're burning, then you would be in a caloric deficit. On the opposite side, if you're, if you're having more calories than you're burning, if the amount of calories you consume is greater than the amount of calories you burn, you are in a caloric surplus. Now, when you're in a caloric deficit, you will lose fat because your body does not get the amount of energy it actually needs from the food you're eating, so it uses up your fat stores. Now, this is the exact opposite when you're in a caloric surplus. Your body is getting too much energy from the food that you eat. It cannot use all of the energy. So it chooses to instead convert it and store it so that it can use it later. And it will store it obviously as fat. Thank you very much for watching. This is the video on calories, net calories and caloric deficit slash surplus. If you like the video, please do like the video. Like, share, subscribe. Please do click the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop a video. Uh, if you're interested in conversations about our school days or music, please do check out the Basic Trouble podcast. If you're interested in gamer, please do check out that Indian Gamer. If you have any topic ideas, if you have any questions about this, you can, of course, leave them in the comments or you can mail me or DM me on Instagram. Links for everything already mentioned is in the description, of course. And I will, I will also put it in the comments. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.